Hi, Rail fans. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk about technology. Over the past year, year and a half, as you can see on my YouTube channel, I've been trying to shoot some videos, and I'm definitely an amateur. And one of the things that has plagued my videos for the past year has been wind noise. I really love going out in the winter time when the weather is horrible, get some cool pictures and some cool videos, but I also get some horrific wind noise that many of you have probably heard in my videos. My tip that I'm going to show you is really simple and really cheap, but it's not exactly professional quality, so if you're looking for professional quality, you might want to go somewhere else. This is just an amateur tip for amateur, amateur video enthusiasts like myself. Let me show you a clip of a video I took recently where I was super excited to get it posted online, only to get home and realize that the audio was horrible because the wind noise was so bad. Let's take a look. As you heard, the wind noise is pretty bad. As rail fans, we have two challenges that a lot of video producers don't have. For one, the weather can be pretty harsh, especially like right now in the winter time in the Midwest. The wind is really bad and really hard to keep out of my audio. The second would be to our advantage in that trains are freaking loud. So in other words, you don't necessarily have to have your microphone right next to your camera to get some clean audio of that coming train. So here's some tips on how to get some clean audio knowing those two things. So tip number one is one that drone users use quite frequently. You create an audio clip that is completely separate from your video. What I mean by that is you can use something like your phone sitting in your car to create an audio clip. Just turn on your phone, start recording sound, crack the window a little bit, and let it go. Then get out of the car, go catch that train with your camera, and later on, put the two back together. Nobody's gonna know if you line the two up correctly that your camera and your phone created an audio and a video clip. As you know, with drones, they make a lot of whirring noise and so you don't get audio from a drone. You have to get the audio somewhere else and that's how that's done. But what about if you just have a phone or you just have a camera? Well, you're gonna have your audio with you but you need to get your audio off of your device. And what I mean by that is, on my camera, this little teeny, teeny, tiny dot that you can't see is the microphone. And that's gonna create wind noise no matter what I do. Same thing with the camera that's recording this video. It has microphones on top, and they're just too small, and they're not gonna produce quality audio. In order to fix this problem is to get something like this relatively expensive external microphone called a lavalier. This microphone is a whopping $15, and I can plug it into both my phone and my camera, which makes it a really good deal. And so, what's the actual technique? <laughs> well, the technique is to bury the microphone in your shirt. Simple, huh? Keeps the wind out of your microphone, and keeps the audio clean. Has this video helped you? If so, leave a note in the comments below. I'm not a pro, so I'd like to hear from you. Do you have some tips that are better than what I'm doing? Or has this tip helped you? And by the way, I hope my future videos are nice and clean. And there is another train sitting right next to me that I need to capture. So I'm outie. Have fun rail fanning. This is Rugby Junction. See ya.